Good Thursday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. For those of you who are tuning in on Periscope, thanks for joining us, and also on Twitter for that matter. We are, again, giving you our latest video weather blog. This is called Weather Overtime. If you've never joined us before, drop your comments and or your locations into the comments section to let us know where you are, what your weather is like out there. Speaking of which, current conditions in the News Channel 3 backyard forecast for today here and the forecast for later on tonight down here at the bottom of your screen. Catch us on all these various social media websites but especially right here at wreg.com slash weather and I'd be glad to get you your forecast update. Rest of the morning again showing a few showers and a few thunderstorms out there mainly cloudy out across portions of the mid-south but you may notice that we see less chances at various points in time in the area with the possibility of showers and thunderstorms kind of coming and going especially through about mid to late morning and back into the area as we get into around the early evening hours as we get toward about the after dinner time for the most part. That's where we're going to be looking at the potential for more activity out there to be heading our way. So more chances of showers and thunderstorms in the Mid-South. A lot of cloud cover out there this morning. Germantown showing again temperature back around 70 degrees. Winds out of the west-southwest at about 8 miles per hour or so and not much in the rain gauge so far this morning. Rhodes College in Memphis, a few clouds out across the area. A little bit of sunrise light sneaking on through back over toward just north of Overton Park and the zoo and Mineral Wells Mississippi mostly cloudy skies from Tim B's webcam on the Weather Underground system. And again, cloudy skies as golfers begin to get ready to go at Windyke Country Club. This view from our Weatherbug network, more available at wreg.com slash webcams if you'd like to see more available out there for that. Temperatures throughout the rest of the day. Again, numbers back in the mid-70s by the time we hit mid-morning around News Channel 3 live at 9. Temperatures, again, not bad with cloud cover and showers out there occasionally dropping on through the area. You definitely want to take the umbrella with you but you're not going to need it throughout the entire day just from here and there and mainly early this morning and into later on this afternoon and into this evening. Now through about rush hour tonight getting the kids out of school that's where we also see again the potential of showers and thunderstorms isolated but starting to increase and then more chances of showers and thunderstorms start to increase as we get toward dinner time tonight and especially into early tomorrow morning. There is also going to be the possibility of some stronger weather coming on through in the form of maybe some severe weather out there and that potential will go right on in through Friday morning and into Friday afternoon especially. So if you have any outdoor plans today, tonight, tomorrow, that's where we see that potential coming our way. And that will be moving its way out of the picture as we get into the weekend. So things are looking a lot nicer as we get into the very early morning hours of the weekend. Now we also again see the potential of severe weather. We have a slight risk category across portions of the Mid-South as we get into the rest of Thursday. The highest potential of severe weather in the yellow, less of a chance into around the green shaded category. That's a marginal threat there. This forecast, as we record this several hours old, we'll be getting a new update from the Storm Prediction Center in the next couple of hours. As soon as we get that, we will bring that to you on News Channel 3, so stay tuned for more. Temperatures today, lower 80s with showers and thunderstorms around the Mid-South. Here and there, more or widespread threat into tomorrow, especially tomorrow afternoon and evening. So keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more there. Great news for the weekend. No problems at all being seen at this time. Mid to upper 70s for highs and the forecast through the weekend and into next week. Very much on the warm side. Next best chance of rainfall will be coming up as we go toward next Wednesday. That's where we see again the potential of showers and thunderstorms, but isolated in nature beyond that pretty typically warm and humid for the next several days, so not much of any major chance out there for any big changes, cooler or hotter, which again is pretty typical for this time of the year. Get our weather app, download it, and keep up to date with what's going on with the weather. Search WREG weather from your account and find out more about what is actually coming our way. And we'll keep you up to date here with the News Channel 3 weather app. Also, don't forget to check out my forecast. It's coming up with Bob and Josh on Talkback Live on AM 730, Yahoo Sports Radio. You can catch them online as well. And please make certain to check out all my social media networks as well. We're on Google+, WordPress, YouTube, Tumblr, Periscope, Instagram, 
Twitter, Facebook, and on Game Boy as soon as I can figure out how to get that connected on there as well. We've got more updates coming up after daybreak throughout the rest of the morning on CBS This Morning, and also more activity coming up as we go into around News Channel 3 live at 9 and on News Channel 3 at noon. And of course, Tim and Jim will have more on your forecast later on this afternoon. Questions, concerns, comments, ideas, email me at austin.onic at wreg.com. We'll be glad to get more information for you as to what we can do to make this your weather blog. So keep on tuning in for more on that. And again, wreg.com slash weather if you'd like to keep up to date with the News Channel 3 weather experts on what's going on out there. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. i got to get back on set. Join us for the last half hour of daybreak and stay tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day on air and online for the latest forecast updates. Thanks for joining us.